uh, Madame Director General of the National Museum of uh, World uh, Cultural, and also Dr. Eva Merdal, all organizers of this event. Uh, thank you very much to give us this opportunity to meet you for the first time to visit the column. All our events before we pass it in another capitals in Europe, another way. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I am very happy to meet you, to present you some image what happened in Syria through this crisis. It is a very hard crisis. It is not like any time in Syria through 20th century and before. All the violent happened in Syria. How we can protect cultural uh, heritage in Syria through this crisis? It is a problem. It is a problem. But before to speak about the challenge, the damage, I would like to give you some image about, about the beauty of Syrian cultural heritage. It's very rich. Syria is one of the most rich countries in the Middle East about cultural heritage. We have more than 10,000 sites from different sites, period. Very gigant, gigantic uh, sites. And from all the period we have in all the Syria, in all the geography of the Syria, when you go, you have the sites. When you go, you have all cities, very rich cities, like Aleppo, like Damascus, like Palmyra, like, like another uh, uh, cities in Syria. It is cultural heritage. We have is more about 34 museums, different museums, different scale by the number of the objects. So this beauty of work, 20th century, in the beginning, especially in the beginning of 20th century, all the mission started in Syria, from all the capitals in the world coming to Syria. They stayed in Syria. They published thousands of books and also thousands of articles about the rich history of the Syria. We are proud for this cooperation, international cooperation in Syria. In just before 2011, it's my mission in northern of the Syria. I am director since 20 years for 700 village from Roman Byzantine period. It is very, it's French Syrian mission, 700 village. It is listed on the cultural uh, world uh, heritage of UNESCO in 2011. It is one of last mission in 2010. In this period, in 2011, we had 140 mission, foreign, joint, and national. Now we have one mission from Budapest University. They stay it in Qalat Malqab and Tartus. The life stopped it for the research, for the excavation. Syria cultural heritage also have good and strong law of the antiquities. It's adopted in 1933 that defend our cultural heritage. We are very strong in Syria as archaeologists because our law of the antiquity is very strong. It is modified in uh, 1999. Through the crisis, we adapted new law. It will be renovated, I think, later, maybe last, next years. We will have developed our laws through the condition of the life in in Syria. Of course, our heritage leave it through this crisis very hard in hard situation, attacked by clashes. Many citadel and old city became battlefield, attacked by illicit excavation, mafia coming around from around of the Syria and through the lo some local and international mafia participated on our sites. More 300 sites attacked hardly in Syria. And uh, later, we are attacked by new phenomenon, phenomenon of ISIS, by ideological reason. 
attacked Palmyra, you follow it through the media, what happened, how they destroyed our cultural heritage just by extremism, bar, by barbaric system. They destroyed a lot, a lot of cultural heritage. How we can defend? We stay it alone. I accepted to be director general in 2012, in the summer, because the situation has, was very violent. It was necessary to present action plan. As head of the Department of Archaeology professor in Damascus University, I accepted this mission. I am attacked by some. Why you work with government? I said, how you can defend cultural heritage if you are not in Syria, if you are not engaged in the job? How you can decide about the evacuation of the museums to hide all the collections, to save the, about the totality of all collection, more 300,000 objects, save it through my colleagues. Despite all the condition, we leave it. Fortunately, quickly, all the organization in the world, special UNESCO, ECOMOS, ECROM, ECOM, all the Interpol accepted our mission, contacted us, all the scientific from many countries in the Europe, Japan, United States, helped us and contacted. Because to be alone, to be in isolation is a problem. Because we have a communal responsibility. Why? Because our cultural heritage is universal. So with this crisis, you cannot defend yourself with your colleagues. You need the help. Sometimes communication. Some image, we leave it by clashes. Aleppo, one of the more beautiful cities in Syria by cultural heritage. It was very beautiful cities attacked by clashes. Many destruction happened like this in front of the citadel from the Ayubit period, mosque. What happens like this? Later, another destruction happened, Sarai. The situation became catastrophic. We leave it in the market, ancient market of Aleppo, burn it, destroy it. A lot of destruction happened in Aleppo as example of the city leave it in the clashes, in the war. Battle Gaza, the memory of, uh, museum, uh, memory of the Aleppo, like this, it was restored now. What's the situation in this museum of uh, uh, Betel Ghazali, the memory museum of the city of Aleppo? And another city is also attacked. But I give it you just some image about clashes in Aleppo. But Homs, the same situation, we leave it. But the problem, another kind of the problem, it's illegal excavation. We are so attacked by barbaric system, by mafia coming from Turkey, from Iraq, from uh, uh, Jordan, from uh, Lebanon, uh, from Syria, from, uh, it is Apame, what you look, this, many thousands like this. It is, it is so attacked, this site, uh, by illegal excavation. Dura Oropos, one of the most beautiful cities in the Ofrat Valley. What happened? It, it is so attacked. What you see, each point, it is excavation, illegal excavation. Many thousands attack on this site. Mary, another kind, from third millennium before. It's one of the most important sites for the urbanization in Syria. What happened? Like this, each point you have in this image, it is illegal excavation. It is new photo, 2019 the reality of the situation in catastrophe condition. They leave it. We leave it another kind of the problem. It's problem of ideological by ISIS. This image coming to me, to my office, 18 May 2015, like today, the International Day of the Museums. I received this image from Palmyra. What happened? It is a sailor of temple. They exploited it. The reality of the situation, this temple completely destroyed. It is a problem. Another temple attacked later, some days. The reality, what you look here. And we see it 
maybe they will stop because it is religion building attack it. But this barbaric system don't stop it. They attack it civil building also. They attack it triumphal arc. They attack it the reality of the situation. They attack it also the theater before, just before. Here, they attack this part of theater. Citadel, some damage, but can be restored easily, no problem, in general. For the museums, it's four sites. For the museum, 34 museums. We decided, I remember, two weeks later of my nomination, I decided to close all the museums. We said, do not repeat what happened in Baghdad in 2003. We should to transport all, to close all things in situ, in each city. But when the situation became more difficult, the violence increased, we decided to evacuate all things to Damascus. These museums, the people, my colleagues appealed me in 2013, Professor, we have some thief tried to enter in this museum in Aleppo. Through the winter, sniper, my colleagues transported all this collection to National Museum in Aleppo. What happened later? It is this museum from 18th century, the reality of the situation. Fortunately, we transported all things before. But they did interest in National Museum. Later, they say it, museum, National Museum of Aleppo became in the line of the clashes. We transported 24,000 objects to some safe location in the uh, University of Aleppo for three, four months. They said Aleppo will be attacked. We decided in the night to transport all things to Damascus. We saved the totality of collection in this museum and also <laughs> the same situation in Derazor. When I heard in 2014 National Museum of Mosul attacked by ISIS, we said the second will be Der Azor in the east of the Syria. 30,000 objects we transported by military plane through the army. We asked it to give us because no routes. We are surrounded by ISIS. We transported 30,000 objects to Damascus from Der Azor, from Aleppo, Palmyra, another case, just example. The night of occupation, after occupation of the half of the city, we moved three trucks from Palmyra, more 400,000 beautiful statues, many hundreds of objects. But later we transported all things. Three museums attacked, Museum of Raqqa, attacked by ISIS. It is the kind of collection of Raqqa lost, destroyed. Fortunately, it's not Derazor, because in Derazor, among of 13,000 objects, we transported 16,000 cuneiform tablets. It is a memory of the history of research in Syrian Mesopotamia through one century. We transported. Because quickly this city, occupied by ISIS, they attacked it. They attacked this kind of the objects, scientific object in general. But here, what you see, we hide it 150 mosaic underground. Three years, ISIS hadn't any information. When Raqqa is liberated from Daesh, my colleagues asked me all the mosaic in safe location, fortunately. Marat Naaman, another city, it is more beautiful museum in Idlib area. We lost as government, the government lost the control. But we kept good control on this museum through the local community. The brave people in this city, in cooperation with us, they keep it control of this mosaic. Fortunately, all the mosaic in good uh, situation, like this mosaic, Heraklon, from Homs, uh, reserved in this museum. So the local community, we keep it control on this museum, and we save it all the collection in Museum of Naaman. One challenge state for us, through so 34 museums in Syria, just this museum of Idlib, we hide it all collection underground. Now Idlib is not control, under control of the, our director of the antiquities, but through the local community, the expert, scientific,
We keep it, we push it, we encourage it. Our people in this area, please, it's your identity, first of all. Second, it's coming national. Third, it is international, universal heritage. Please keep control on this museum. If you can save about 5,000 objects, it's okay. That means we save it about the totality of collection on all the Syria, despite all these problems. What happened? Letters. When we found the situation go in violence, we decided to transport all this object. It is one of the tracks coming from Aleppo to National Museum of Damascus. And slowly, slowly, we evacuated all the collection from all the Syria to Damascus. What is the kind of the mission? What is the vision? All time we ask it, please. Don't confuse the work of the saving of cultural heritage with the politic. We cannot accept to divide our heritage in two. One for the government, another for the government, for the oppositions. We have one heritage for all Syrian people. It is universal heritage, please. A governmental, no governmental, local committee, you should to be together. It is our identity, common identity, common history. Fortunately, all the Syrian people accepted this mission in all the area, participated in this battle of cultural battle. We, we went together, we protected in cooperation with governmental, no governmental, local committee in many area of the Syria. We unified the vision of all the Syrian people. We pushed all the Syrian people to, to take the responsibility to protect this cultural heritage. And through the evacuation of the museums, the closing, evacuation, etc., we had another things to do. Launching, raising awareness company on all the Syria. Through all this image, many thousands of this image published in all the Syria to encourage the Syrian people to be engaged on the, pro on the protection of the cultural heritage in Syria. We engage the, some system of education for the children also. We make it very beautiful exhibition in Damascus and in other cities to encourage the people to be engaged with us. What's the kind of the work? What's the kind of object looted and recuperated by the police? We presented image to encourage the people that you have times. You have still now the time to protect more and more of the cultural heritage. It is some kind of the object Stop it by the police, recopy it to the National Museum of Damascus. Uh, it was something uh, of uh, company anti mafia in all the Syria and the borders. And also, we made a lot of the conferences in cooperation with the Interpol, Syrian National Interpol, the police, how we can and custom, how we can make together the politic of the protection of the cultural heritage. It was necessary to work of this. Uh, work also. I will go very uh, quickly because for the time, the, through the local community, it is area under control of the opposition army. The local community asked us, if you have the time one day, we can give you this mosaic. We sent our staff around of Damascus, 40 kilometers. They accepted delegation from National Museum of Damascus. They give it us this mosaic. When they give it us, later they give it, we launched a lot of the message of the thanks to the local committee in this area. Later, they continued with us the cooperation. Uh, a lot of the measure also about the consolidation of the gates, windows, etc. Sometimes it was not possible to move. We made a lot of this system of protection in the garden, and something in Aleppo, in Damascus, in Homs area, uh, uh, inside of the Museum of Aleppo, like this. Now they are trying to reopen National Museum of Aleppo. Sometimes it was not possible to move something. We made this system of protection. Safe places, location, it was necessary to have all the condition of the control. Anti-humidity, anti-explosion, anti-sift, anti-fires. Uh, do not repeat what happened in the uh, Museum of Beirut. After 15 years of uh, saving of the antiquities in Beirut, they discovered in good party it is uh, damaged by humidity. We made also this system 
to keep control 24 sort on 24 hour old control documentation a packing all things move it we made new packing new documentation more 280,000 new picture high resolution of picture we made through this crisis and some gates system of gates to protect the wall and roof to protect all the roof. Mosaic, this mosaic, we covered by soil very quickly. Later, this museum became battlefield like this. Our museum protected, our mosaic protected. Uh, you should to make the preventive system. Do not wait. Each day it was necessary. Like this, Hawarte, Metrayoms, protected by local committee, by one man, 80 year old. Keep it control on this temple with me, just to contact me in Hama area. He is living around of this temple. His and her family, his family, they protected this fantastic uh, temple of Mitraeum. It's unique in Syria painting. They protect it. It's for this all time we encourage the local community to be engaged. All kind of the object transported to Damascus before the occupation of ISIS, 400. Like these trucks came to Damascus. We made a lot of documentation 3D, many hundred thousand of image uh, inside of the Museum of Palmyra for the site, for the damage with the French uh, team. Uh, Polish team came to Palmyra three days later of the liberation. We transported this lion to Damascus and we restored it. This lion, we saved it later. Two days after my leaving of as Director General, we celebrated this uh, uh, project. And documentation, publishing, we insisted to be transparent with international community, to publish all things in Arabic and English. Do not publish any fake information. If the information is good, you should to publish it is good. It's bad, you should to publish this information that it is bad. To share the information with the international committee to be transparent because we are scientific. We don't make the politic. We don't make the propaganda. Finally, we defend Syrian etage for all the Syrian. We published these uh, books in Arabic and English also. We documented all what happened through this crisis. We keep a good inter, uh, relation with all these organizations in the world. I thank UNESCO, ECOMOS, ECROM, Interpol. Uh, really, they give us a lot of the help through this crisis. They refuse to, uh, uh, to leave us. Uh, it was necessary to sharing uh, scientific uh, idea, etc. And they helped a lot of the project with us through this crisis. This, uh, we are now celebrating new publishing. Thank you very much, Madam Director General, for this publication in Swedish. I am proud to be in Sweden to see this read, uh, list for the Syrian antiquities in Swedish language. I hope to have another language to be engaged through the translation. A lot of the training, a lot of the word. Uh, United Nations adopted this resolution, two resolution, anti-destruction in the Syrian and Iraqi antiquities, it is necessary. It was excellent adoption of this two resolution, but what we need now, mechanism of applying in the field, how we can apply. It's necessary through the international committees, through the cooperation, we can reduce the impact of the war on the cultural heritage in Syria, Iraq, and also in Afghanistan. Finally, I say it all time, I repeat it all time. The, we have wind borders in archaeology. We have one archaeology, it's international archaeology. Our heritage in Afghanistan and Iraq, Syria, Yemen, Europe, it's universal. We need you. We need your solidarity, your help, your cooperation. That means we can rebuild the future for our children. Thank you very much.